If mummies could talk, what would they tell us? That's one of the questions at the heart of Mike Toth's research. Artifacts like these offer unique insight into the culture of ancient Egypt. Middle class Egyptians would bury their mummies with a mask that was made out of papyrus layers. Just like my mom would make a Halloween mask out of paper mache using old newspaper, they would use old papyrus to make this mask. Now they used ancient Greek to write on their papyrus. And in those you'll find documents that give us a record of the history of ancient Egypt. Because they're layered and stuck together, it's pretty difficult to read the text without damaging the mask. And some archeologists have gone to extreme lengths to pull them apart. With the destruction of these objects, we're losing insights into how they worshiped, into how they buried their dead, in their concept of the afterlife. So Toth is developing technologies to read the text while preserving the masks. The trouble is that no two mummy masks are identical, which means there's no single way to image them. That's why Toth is working with physicists, archeologists, and even ophthalmologists to test a range of technologies. Our goal is to make all these data freely available and also our techniques for studying these objects. One promising approach is called phase contrast imaging. We witnessed a test run at the Lawrence Berkeley lab. Here's how it works. The scrap goes into an x-ray chamber where it gets scanned as it rotates. Then a team combs through the scanned images looking for text. Initially, there were concerns that the powerful x-rays could create tiny distortions in the paper, but so far that hasn't been a problem. We are trying to offer non-destructive means by which one can study the object itself and the underlying text or artwork or cultural heritage that may not be seen by the human eye. But don't worry, they won't be aiming any x-rays at the mummies in your life. <laughs>